Good morning, everyone. It is James in Kobe, Japan. It is Saturday, September 23rd, 2023. It's just about 6 a.m. And it is 22 degrees Celsius. It actually feels cool. It is cool. Come on, pup. Oh, no, no, no. no. We found a bag of chips. I don't feel any humidity. This is great, but we do have overcast, but I'm not complaining because I'm not breaking a sweat. Yeah, come on, cool weather. So I'm gonna briefly talk about my, my morning routine. I get up around five, then I make myself some breakfast, and then I do the laundry, and I fold the dried laundry from the previous day, I take out the garbage on certain days. And then I walk my dog around this time, around 6, sometimes around 5.30. So that is my morning routine. Okay, and uh, I'm going to switch topics and talk about how to sustain yourself in Japan. The best way, I think, is to have some skill. Now, if you have English ability, you can get an English teaching job and that pays well. Just because you speak English doesn't mean that you can teach English because you need to be mentally sound and you must have the right personality that the uh, school or company is looking for. Okay, they're not just gonna hire you just because you're an English speaker. Maybe they will, but most likely they won't, and, and you won't last. Uh, make sure you bring enough money to Japan to start. Um, I can't say exactly how much, but a ballpark figure, if you're coming alone, $5,000 US minimum, because uh, you have to sustain yourself. You need to find work. Let's say that you don't know anyone here and you got a working holiday visa uh, and you haven't found a job yet. Yeah, I would say at least $5,000 plus your credit card or credit cards, okay? You're going to need money because rent is not cheap, but you can find um, pretty affordable accommodation somewhere, you can most likely in the countryside. If you are here on a working holiday visa, then you can get other work legally and you should get a Japanese bank account. Okay, you need to keep your money, convert your money into Japanese yen and put it in the bank. And then when you find a, find a job in Japan, you tell your employer that you have an account. It becomes easy for the employer to deposit your income. The word is seamless transaction. So you want, that's exactly what you want. No problems, everything gets deposited into your account and eventually you can find other work. But you need to sustain yourself first. In addition to sustaining yourself here in Japan, don't indulge on expensive foods and don't indulge in eating fast food or um, eating out very often. Go to a local supermarket, find a cheap supermarket and stock up. Nowadays you can find stores that have imported goods for quite cheap and uh, like no name brands that work just as well. You can sustain yourself. Yeah, I've seen those kind of shops everywhere. One shop that comes to mind is called Gyomu. So ask your Japanese friends, I think they're across Japan, Gyomu. If you are a long-term resident like me, and if you are able to, you should invest in yourself. Take up a course, learn a new trade, get the skill. You can work for other people or start up your own business. Now here is the most interesting one. What do you do and how to control your giant lottery winning? 
Okay, um, if you're a long-term resident and plan to live in Japan, and of course you want to enjoy your fruit, meaning your winnings, don't tell anyone. Don't tell your wife, your partner, your closest friends, don't tell anyone. That is the key. If you trust your partner, your wife enough, eventually you can let them know, but don't tell them right away. Move your funds to another account because eventually your partner will want to see your winnings in your account. Don't buy an expensive car or luxury brands because people will notice. If you want people to notice you, you're going to be in trouble. Take your winnings and speak to a financial advisor. Here in Japan, there's like, there so many. You just go to a bank and they're discreet and um, ask them to, like, let's say you want to buy stock in Tesla. You can do that very easily. Try to diversify your money so that you don't lose. No, of course, invest in safe things. And if you want some riskier things with a higher return, but diversify. Treat your friends the way you always treated them. Nice, I assume. Do not mistreat your friends or loved ones just because of this new winning. Also appreciate your winning because it's once in a lifetime. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope this has enlightened you in some way. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.